All right. So uh, I'm playing this game uh, called Sarah is, is Missing, aka S I M. Found this game on itch.io. Um, on the first part of this video, I was having a little bit of audio troubles, but I have it fixed now, and I need to turn it down because apparently this game is supposed to be a little bit scary. Um, I wish I could, but how? Based on your response, I assume she is not with you. I don't even know her. It seems like the last video she took implies she is in danger. Would you like to watch it and help me verify? Uh, yeah, sure. This is the only file left at this moment. The rest of the content seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged. Uh, how badly is the phone damaged? It appears that only 14.3% of this device is op operational. Uh, I think Sarah is in trouble. Sarah looks like she needs help. Yes, it would appear to be so. I am this mobile's intelligent recognitive iconolatory system, Iris. It is in my best interest and in your good conscience to locate her immediately. Uh, why do you want to help find Sarah? She is my owner. I want to make sure she is safe. It is my prime directive. I want? Yes. I want. We are wasting precious time here. Would you help me find Sarah? Uh, yes, the object of the game. I need to restore as much of the contents on this phone as I am able to. Please press the back button and then tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. I believe I can record some of this, recover some of this phone's data. Would you like me to restore them now? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm starting the restore process now. Remember, you can tap and hold at any part of the phone to ask me for help with anything. But if it's something out of my capabilities, I will let you know with a beep. As I calculated, only a minor portion of the phone's contents are available. Why 
what do I do if I find something interesting? You may tap and hold on anything interesting or suspicious. I will lend my assistance and look into it. Perhaps try going through her text history. Uh, look through Sarah's messages and emails. Tap and hold on anything suspicious. Find clues in Sarah's phone, which might reveal where she is. Okay. Mm. So let's do that. We will first... Mm, I want to look at the music. Okay. Um, so this is probably a copywritten mm. song. <laughs> I want to avoid that. Um, let's go into her notes. Eden, there is no place I call home, but it's warm in between your toned thighs. Like winter tigers listening to God whispering good night from nowhere. And I giggled. And I don't know that when I giggle, my ass giggles too. And I think about being spanked by his firm hand, and I giggle no more. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, static. You loved me yesterday, but not today. No. Um, today you love yourself, and I, I loved yesterday. We live from notification to notification. Let's creep through a picture. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, this app has stopped working. Please contact the developer for our information. Image underscore CRC underscore failed 400. Okay. So I guess we're not creeping through her pictures. Um, let's creep through her mail, her emails. Casket stays. What? Travel Airbnb? What kind of B&B mm -hmm. is that? Okay, that's worthless. Jeebus shops here. Okay, so apparently she's like religious. Um, foreign United Coffee Carpet. Try our new carpet flavored coffee beans. <laughs> Featuring Persian and Arabic carpets. Who wants coffee that smells like, or that tastes like carpet uh, I don't know three matches um, mingles okay mingles with the shingles <laughs> who are itching to be messaged by you <laughs> oh <laughs> all right so uh, she she was uh, dating online, maybe. Rihanna loves whips and chains, but I doubt her ancestors felt the same way. Are you serious, game? Like, <laughs> all right. Um. Uh, so I was just saying, don't open the video attachment in the uh, chain letter and don't send it. Just delete it. Okay. Happy birthday, Sarah. Mm -hmm. 
from the We Steal from the Dead Society. <laughs> Alright. She gets some weird emails. Kamara Mira. Professor Hassan. I'll let you read that. Um, you can just pause it if you want to read through these. Um, these don't seem important. Um, this just seems like kind of like um, they don't really progress the story or anything. Uh, they don't seem to progress the story. They're just kind of there um, just for looks. Um, just by kind of scanning over the emails. It doesn't look like they really mean anything. Um, let's go through the messages now. Uni group offline chat unavailable. So apparently this is her college group chat. Um, James um, Coffee um, at 1800. Sure, let's make it 6.30 p.m. 18.30 it is. Bring the stuff I gave you yesterday. Next time, bring your own research, okay? Don't be like that. I gotta go. Later's jam. Jill. Ugh, he's so annoying. I'm so over him. Forget him, Sarah. You're on your own now. We have our ups and downs. It's normal. Why don't you do something fun? Something crazy? I mean, you're doing it now. You're endless research on the paranormal. Um, I don't know. I guess you're right. You're the genius in our batch. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, you are sometimes, but go easy on yourself. You're just getting used to it. It's one thing to break up and the other to move on. Can you do me a favor? What? Meet someone new. Go meet a crazy friend. Try a dating app. You never know. I don't know how to make friends. I already have one crazy friend. Don't think I can handle another. If I meet someone interesting, I usually just buy them a drink and take them home. Not too sure about dating apps. This is highly not recommended <laughs> to just meet someone somewhere uh, and then take them home. <laughs> Let's hope you're joking. Sometimes I can't tell if you're joking. <laughs> But put yourself out there. Go have a conversation with someone at a cafe or something. Maybe a party might not be a bad idea. Have fun, please. I don't know. Just try. Okay, fine, fine, I will. You'll be fine. Thanks, Jilly Beans. No problem. I'm here for you if you need me. Saving you has come, become my specialty. Haha, <laughs> very funny. You'll be alright. I know, I know. 23rd March. Hey, have a safe flight. Good luck and hope you save lots of lives there. Thanks. I'll be back sooner than you think. We'll miss you. Don't run into zombies and stuff. Even if you do, somehow I think you'll find a cure for it. Haha, <laughs> I just might. Take care of you. Alright. 30 February 2016. So, how was your trip? It was terrible. Oh? Why was it terrible? Derek broke up with me. Sorry to hear that. By the way, free this week? You're real quick to jump on that, uh, buddy. No, I'm pretty busy. I got my final thesis to deliver. What's it about? Do you really want to know, buddy? Yeah, sure. I'm doing research about the relativity of ghosts to culture and how it transcends from verbal tales handed down through generations to a digital and cyberspace hauntings. <sighs> By the way, are you into butt stuff? Okay, so 
this is already turning into a very perverted, <laughs> a very inappropriate text exchange. Um, are you into butt stuff? Really? I gotta go, buddy. And no, even if I am, you're not it. No problem. Poke you later. Nice weather today. It could be better. Wind doesn't feel as nice uh, as it was yesterday. Can I send you some pics? I don't think so, buddy. I bet you'll like them. No, I don't think so. No! It's of my penis. Yes, I figured. It's big. I don't really care. Would you like to see it? No. Would you like to sit on it? No! Can I see you? No! Not at the moment. Can I see yours? I don't have a penis, buddy. I meant your tits. I bet you have nice tits. I do, actually. Can I see them? No. Bend over for me. No, thanks. Sorry, I'm just bored. Oh, my God. I know, buddy. Go watch porn. Internet here is slow. Not my problem. Well, have fun there. Thanks, buddy. I don't know why I'm friends with you, really. I don't know why you're friends with him, either. If some dude is texting you, asking can he send you a picture of his penis, nobody, no respectable girl wants to see that. Like, really. Like, no girl is going to be like, oh, just send me a picture of it. No. No. That's, that's ridiculous. And to think that somebody, uh, that any respectable girl, is going to send you a picture of any of her genitalia, you've got another thing coming. Don't ever do this. They won't respect you. Uh, obviously, he does not respect this girl at all. Um, just by the way that he's talking to her. Um, hey, do you like tapes and CDs? Yeah, it's been a while since I had them, though. Good, because I'm going to tape my penis on your head. And you can see these nuts? Okay. okay, buddy, that was actually funny. No, it wasn't. I wasn't really joking. And I'm out. Oh, she blocked him. He looks like a freaking creeper. Look at him. Ugh. Anyway. Aya. Hey, Bluey Delicious, you okay? Feeling down in the dumps? Come join me and some abs at the club. Sorry, babe, got an assignment. Can't do it. Skip it, babes. They have abs like, 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 abs like Tarzan. Sorry, I know I don't, you know I don't want to miss hanging out with you guys, but some other time? It's ladies night, and besides, we've got ice cream. You need a break. Come on, Maba, you know them ice cream melts down abs. Tempting, but I'm gonna pass. Besides, I haven't gone clubbing in years. I don't really like ice cream, but hmm, chocolate lava brownies does sound so good. Celebrating freedom? You need a night out with me to forget all your troubles. I won't force you, though. I'll have one on your behalf. So, Aya is a lesbian, and she wants to turn Sarah out. That's what I'm getting from the way she's talking, and she's like, you need to be with me, um, I'll make you forget, and, you know, I won't force you, yeah, you know, we'll just kind of get drunk and hang out, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's it. 
Haha, <laughs> bitch, bitch. You know, they love my love handles. Them puppies wild, mama. May 1st, 2016. Hey, where you been? Oh, uh, why didn't you reply to me? I texted you last night. Um, I heard you went out with Faith last night, bitch. Why didn't you call me? I'm always the last to know. What the fuck? Let's get coffee. I've got news. I met someone last night at the club. Man, those dimples. Sarah, you there? I tried to call you, but I can't get through. Call me, okay? Hey, Sarah, I'm worried. You've been MIA. You're not normally like this. Okay, so this is suspicious. So this is the time where maybe this is where she disappeared. So between April the 27th, in May the first at one in the morning so like April 30th maybe is when she disappeared and then she texted her at one in the morning on the first of May and then she texted her back that afternoon looking for her couldn't find her for like like three and a half hours or something like that so this is where she disappeared so this is suspicious let's go get uh, iris on this sarah's actions it's unusual how do you know what is unusual through various calculations of sarah's regular activities Choices that make her in her daily life. The choices that she makes in her daily life. I could simulate and deduce that her actions or inactions in this situation do not match her past behavior. Her recent behavior shows that she's suffering from abrupt, apparently unaccountable change of moods. Possibly due to her relationship issue. But I know, doctor. I agree with you. Okay. So we got our first clue. So this is probably her ex-boyfriend, it looks like. Hey, you there? What do you want? Nothing. I'm, I just, I'm about to board. Why should I care? Well, that's one of the probs, isn't it? You barely care. Did you text me to tell me that? You're such an asshole. Look, I didn't mean, definitely, I definitely didn't want to hurt you. I mean, I, I wish things were different. I don't want us to end, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Ugh. I'm trying to tell you that this is not how I planned things to be. Things ended when you left. You left. You and your planning. Enough with plans. You plan and plan, but you never do anything. All you do is run and work and use your work as an excuse to avoid confronting the issue. I think you just described yourself. Why do you always do this? You keep blaming me for, keep blaming my work for our problems. Stop blaming shit on me. And these girls, naked or not, why? They're not our problems. It's me and you, and you're the one who keeps avoiding this shit. Shifting problems here and there. This guy's not worth your time. <laughs> How about, I don't feel like listening to your shit right now. Haven't you done enough? No, you need to listen. I'm trying to tell you. No, I don't want to listen. I'm tired of your lies and shit. Baby, listen, please. If you've got nothing else to say, then stop texting me. I'm done with you. Done. I can't believe you decided to do this. Not that I fucking celebrate it, but it's Valentine's fucking Times Day. Who the fuck leaves their girlfriend to fly back to another country to photograph nude women on Valentine's fucking Times? Jesus. And not even and not even have the balls to tell me about it. You lying piece of shit. Not telling you is not the same as lying. 
I'm flying by a mission. <laughs> um, and yeah, you're leaving your girlfriend uh, on her birthday because at some point it was talking about her birthday being on Valentine's Day um, in one of those emails. Um, yeah, I told you it's a last minute gig. It's a fashion shoot, babe. Let's get it straight. Ugh. You want to play technicality on me now? Are you fucking serious? Go away, Derek. Just go away. You're at least good at that. At least. Um, that's one damn thing you're good at. Just go. No thanks to you. I don't even fucking know how to get to our chalet. Our? Sorry. My mistake. It's my chalet now. I have to figure this out. Bye, Derek. Have a nice fucking flight. Sorry, baby. I'll make it up to you. You there? Hey, I'm bored now. Take care. Sorry. Bye. Hey, how are you? It's been a while. Hey, baby, talk to me, please. Sorry, I missed you. What are you up to? Just gave him the silent treatment for a while. Sarah, talk to me, please. Silent treatment. Baby. And then, I'm not your baby. Stop texting me. I need to move on. Okay, got it. Bye, Sarah. Yeah, he's a jerk. Anyway, text from Mama. Hi, Mom. Just wanted to check in. Derek and I decided to end things. We're not working out, so... But I'm okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Sarah. But I've always known that Derek could never keep up with you. Best you ended things before it got too serious. What time is your flight back? Can I have my driver pick you up at the airport? Right, well mom, actually, don't panic. I've decided to stay. Sarah, I don't understand. You've just come out of a relationship. You're in a foreign land. Why would you want to stay? I need some time for myself, Mom. Being at home now, I can't. Um, what do you mean you can't? You get on that plane and come home. Mom, no, I can't. I've canceled the flight tickets anyway. Why in the world would you do something so stupid as that, Sarah? Mom, listen. Sarah, you come home this intent. <laughs> I'll get my assistant to buy you a new ticket right now. Mom, no, I'm not coming home and that's final. At least not yet. I don't expect you to understand, but see you when I get back, okay? Um, 20th February. Um, hi, Mom. Just to let you know, I've touched down. Walking to immigration now. I thought you were supposed to arrive an hour ago. Got delayed. Sorry, I couldn't send you a text. I've got to go into a meeting now. The driver's waiting on you. Okay, see you soon. We'll be back late. We'll talk to you when I come home. Okay. Oh my god. 21st February. Sarah, I've scheduled for you to meet with the executive creative director of Lloyd Irving, the advertising agency at noon tomorrow. Don't embarrass me. Mom, I've got a seminar to go to and we've talked about this already. I'm not changing my major and I'm certainly not going to be a copywriter. Mom, really, tomorrow's seminar is pretty important for my grades. I can't skip it even if I want to. You're really going to pick your silly research on ghosts of all things over purse possibly working for a top agency? I simply don't understand your fixation on ghosts, Sarah. I've let it go on far too... Well, I'll let it go on for too long. Oh, I only want to help you build a promising career, not throw it away and be a just to be a ghost hunter. Mom's really mean. <laughs> She's not supportive. Mom, first of all, stop calling it ghost research or ghost anything. It's parapsychology. And secondly, I don't want to be a copywriter like you. It's just not what I want. And I hope you understand. Dad will understand. You know, the only reason why you go you can go on and do all your nonsense because i allow it i'm trying to make sure you have a future or at the very least a good paying job or a job that pays anything how 
Are you going to pay the bills of this kind of career path? The only reason you could do this is because you're living under my roof and I'm paying for all your expenses. I've lived a pretty, you lived a pretty comfortable life and spoiled one at, la at that. I've given you nothing but the best and all I, and all I've asked from you is for you to go to one meeting and you shoot it down without even thinking about it. How ungrateful of you. And your father, he was a good man, rest his soul, but useless at living. He was a bum. I won't stand for it if you become like him. Wow. <laughs> really? Okay, Mom. Going in for a meeting. I'll be home early today. You will have dinner at home. We will talk. Take further on this, Mom, please. Please, Mom, just make sure your texts are correct before you send them to me. Okay. All right, last message. Faith, what are you up to this weekend? Swamp with my work, actually. Why? I need a favor. You always need a favor. What's new? Hey, don't be mean. I really want to go to this gathering. You mean a party? <laughs> yeah. I'm not really up for it, but it's your sort of thing, too. What do you mean? Uh, Vol... Snacked. Isn't that the witch's feast? How's that my thing? You're the pagan. Hey, I follow you to church, alright? That's the big deal. Anyway, you're like into all these supernatural stuff, too. Yeah, but I don't party with ghosts. I'm not going to fall for one of your coven initiations again, Faith. Aw, uh, that was a joke. Come on. Plus, these aren't real witches. I bet I'm the only real one around here. Just some guys playing coven. We all do it, you know. Halloween, hello. I don't know, Faith. Maybe not. Ask me again tomorrow or something. Yeah, so she's trying to say, oh, yeah, we, we all celebrate witchcraft when we celebrate Halloween. No, it's not the same thing. It is not the same thing, Faith. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking that maybe maybe she actually went to this. Um, and you know, something crazy happened, she got kidnapped. So, this is suspicious. Let's, yes. Wolfberg is not curious. Is that German? What is the Wolfberg is not Okay. Wolf. Oh, Wolfberg is not. Uh. Ah, sh no. I missed text. Uh, it is pleasing to know what is meaning. People who practice this freedom of religion and freedom of belief, the principle is sports of freedom. It also includes change one's religion or belief. Okay, I have to wait. Hold on, Iris. Just wait. Just wait. I gotta read that again. Walpers. Or Whopper gets uh Valpsnacht Valpsnacht Okay. <laughs> it's one of the Dutch and German names for the night of the thirtieth of April. That's when she disappeared. So, yeah. Okay, so she did go to this party. Um, because it happens on the 30th of April, and that's when she stopped responding to um, uh, Aya, I think it was. Um, but yeah, 1st May. Um, so apparently, today is the 1st of May, so this is like the day after she disappeared. 
Um, I think there might be more clues and whereabouts if we can look through her pictures. I believe there's an error with the gallery. Would you kindly tap and hold on the gallery icon? Um, I hope there's nothing scary in there. Fear, fear. What makes us... Fear is what makes us what we are. This dang computer man. Okay. Please wait while I find what's wrong. It seems Sarah kept it locked. You will need to enter the password to proceed further. The hint is Sarah's birthday. Um, is it possible for you to unlock it for me? I'm afraid I can't reveal personal information. You need to find that out yourself. Uh, how the hell do I do that? Perhaps it's somewhere on this device. Let me creep her calls. She has it noted <laughs> in her contacts. Call mom. Baby mom will answer. Derek and Aya called her on the 30th. She didn't answer for the missed calls. Let's try Aya. Nothing. Sanctuary PMD? Creeper contacts. See if anybody stands out. Lloyd Irving. This is the uh, advertising agency or whatever our mom was trying to get us a job at. Of course not. It's 10. At night, everybody's dad. Oh my god, we're calling him. I want a reaction video of someone actually calling that number. I don't want to call it. <laughs> Is I'm too chicken, um, and I fear that it might be a real number. <laughs> um, so, yeah, definitely record yourself uh, calling this phone number. I'd love to see it. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Kitty, why does she have the same picture that her dad has? I'm a kitty cat at gmail.com. Okay, apparently that was not interesting. Um, so maybe this is I uh, or. Faith's sister or something. are pictures of the developers um, or people who had what wait a minute let's call herself oh wait birthday February 14th 1993 okay wait, wait, wait. I gotta call myself first her birthday but yeah okay um F E B 93 there's not enough numbers but let me try something closer look at it. question remains, are ghosts still relevant in today's society? Well, I think we all know that ghost stories sort of started out with cavemen sitting around a fire, a campfire telling each other these stories to scare each other, right? And then it evolved into um, superstition, there was religion, the 19th century came around, and then of course um, the advent of vampires. But vampires reside in the night. So how is it that Wait. till today, we still have ghosts, and now ghosts have actually moved over into cyberspace. Cyberspace. That's how it's relevant. What's happening right now? Yes. You're still part of the dark now. <laughs> So those 
to. We were close. We were real close. What is this strange photo in the gallery that you're talking about? with a video and a chat thread that Sarah has recently deleted. Would you like me to retrieve the data? Yes! Please wait a moment while I restore the data for you. Okay. Okay, so let's go to... Ooh, 88. Oh. Okay, new messages. Um, on the 30th. Yo, what are you up to, busy busy? Anyway, I remember you told me you wanted to start a blog, right? About our ghost and curse research. I got something for you if you're interested. Hey, Jam. Yeah, I am. Better be good. Kinda. Uh, there's this thing called the Red Room. Okay. Uh, there have been lots of reports of people dying through weird circumstances. Like, after checking out the weird website, you answer some stuff and then BAM! Okay, keep going. So yeah, they say that if you visit the site, your computer or phone or whatever will start freaking out. Pop-ups will start to appear and the visitor will go insane. Hang on, let me find the link to the vid. Haha, <laughs> what is this? The 90s? Sounds pretty lame. Lame, but get this. Rumor has it. Have you heard of the Sazebo slashing? It's linked to the site. So when the police went through the killer's computer, the last site they found on the killer's phone. What? Wait a minute. They went through his computer and then they found the site on his phone. <laughs> okay. But still, you know how rumors can get around on the web. Maybe nothing. Understand you if you're scared. By the way, I've gone on it. Still standing. LOL. But hey, it's trending now. So you might want to get dibs on this. Okay, fine. I'll check it out. I have quite high standards. I know you do. I hope you don't go insane. I gotta go. It's late. Jogging at 0500. Thanks. Night, Colonel GM. Night, Scary Sarah. Let's view this video. We better not. Uh, what? That gave me chills, actually. Oh, what the fuck is up with my phone? Fuck you, James. You broke my phone. Um, the controls are malfunction. I can't seem to. It that see the red room is connected with the cult. Uh, what do you mean by red room? What cult? The cult connected curse. Uh, what the hell's going on? <laughs> I found another message that was recently deleted. This is my holes and clues. I was able to restore it for you. Would you kindly have a look at it under... Okay. But I need to go through Faith's message first. Hey, come on, Sarah. It's awesome. No, it won't. Well, it'll be awesome. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Don't make me put a spell on your skinny ass. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything, especially your fake witchery. Lies. You're the most chickest shit out of all of us. And there's nothing fake about my magic. That's not true. Yes, it is. You're scared of practically everything. 
Well, I'm not scared of a fucking party. Maybe, maybe not. But you're scared of boys. No, I'm not. I'm not sure how Derek can stand you for so long. Hey, you didn't have to say that. Sorry, sorry. Is it still too soon? It's about time you moved on. How long has it been? Three months? Two months and 16 days. Jesus, slap, snap out of it, Sarah. Come on, let's go. We'll have some fun tonight, promise. No, I don't know. Let's go. Check it out. Half an hour. If it sucks, we'll bail, okay, babe? I don't trust your half hours. Put an alarm on, okay? Haha. <laughs> You'll just rot and become like your mom if you stay home. Ugh. That settles that I'm picking you up. Be ready by eight. No, no, it's okay. I'll get that by myself. I'll see you there around nine. I need to have dinner first. Oh, the witch is cooking? Yeah. Well, on the bright side, if she finally poisons you, you don't have to come. Or if you don't come, I'll assume you're dead from poison. And I'll call the cops. All right, all right, I'll come. What are you wearing? Ha <laughs> ha, I can tell you what I'm not wearing. Slut, bimbo slut, fat cow, skinny pimple bugger lace vagina, <laughs> and I'm out. See you later. Don't forget to bring those penis socks you got from Thailand. <laughs> hey, where are you? Why aren't you picking up? I've been calling for 15 minutes. Faith, if you don't pick up, I'm leaving. You and your late ass. Where is this party? There's no one here. Faith, this is not funny. I'm in the middle of the jungle, and I'm alone. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> I received your contact from Faith. She told me you're coming for a little party, a special gala, gala, gathering. Hello, Irisu. Yeah, I'm supposed to meet her here. What's going on? I apologize, but reception here is undesirably terrible. And besides, we have a rule no mobile phones allowed. I'm here to escort you safely to the venue. Escort? Yes, my dear. It's hard to navigate in the dark alone. It is part of our experience. I'm not sure about this. Can I talk to Faith? No, you may not. I apologize. But like I said, no phones are allowed. Um, she's safe here. Probably drunk already. Drunk? Faith doesn't get drunk. How do you know? How I know you're really her friend? I've known her since high school. Really? I don't think she's ever mentioned you. I keep a low profile. This is the start of the online predator text. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know her. That's her. I'm her friend. Yeah. Mm. I know her since high school. Yeah, you're like 45. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. I think I'll leave. Leave? Sure you just. Why? I'm almost, almost, almost there. Faith will be disappointed that you didn't show up. She's made reservations for you. Almost where? Uh, to where you are, of course. How do you know where I am? Faith told me she was meeting you there. I'd prefer if you didn't come here, please. I'm almost there. Please stop wherever you are. Don't worry. You're safe. I'm going to ring you. Please pick up. Should I... Sarah? Sarah, where are you? Can you hear me? Sarah, I'm at the cult site, Sarah! James! Hey, sir, why aren't you speaking? I need to talk to you. Oh my god! James! James!
It's urgent. Where are you? You've been missing for almost a day. Did you go to that party? Please tell me you didn't. It's real bad news. Um, let's just say I'm not Sarah. What? Who are you? Someone trying to help you find Sarah. I guess I have to trust you. We'll get back to who you are later. Here, check this out. Oh my god, James, you send me more creepy videos. Yes, those who are trying to prepare themselves for entry into... Um, that's part of those cult videos that came out. Um, hey James, what does this mean? What am I looking at? This is disturbing. Oh shit, I see them. James, get out of there. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You won't believe this. Um, what will you see? Oh fuck, I think they saw me. Who? James? No, they didn't. Jesus, that was fucking close. I'm hiding behind this. I don't know what this is. Fuck, I hear a sound. James. James? Hello, hello there. Welcome to your uninvited friend. Uh, I apologize for the sudden urgency I'm about to bestow onto you. Uh, what are you talking about, Irizu? Say hello to James. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what is this interesting? share it with myself and then we'll add a joke share the link um oh I didn't read James's emails um. oh my god I think this is time nobody read that do not do this. Don't read it. Um, some kind of incantation. Don't play with it. Um, but can I send it to myself? No. Okay, I can't send it to myself. Um, I'll send it to this asshole. Send it. Why have you done this? Don't share the link. Okay. All right, all right, all right. James, 
James, James, James, James, James. Oh shit. James. 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 What the fuck? Why did you do that? James. Yes, I know. It's a death curse. I know, I know, I know. There's no such thing. There's no consequence. You shared it. It's done. Thank you. This doesn't make sense. I want to say something else. Um... You are, damn it, an asshole. Ugh. It makes you say what it wants you to say. You can't just tell them stuff. Are you dead? Irritated is typing. Hello there. It's me again. Why do you say apologize with an S and then apologize with a Z? You sick bastard. All these choices, what the options mean to who are you? This is where um, yeah. um well, maybe do this time. Price we're almost out of time. So here it is. Oh what you like to do this? Okay. Um join who? Who are you? No. Oh my god, Sarah! You said you don't kill, but I do not. Uh, it's not my choice to sacrifice. Life is pure. Leave it up to you. God himself make decisions. Blah, blah, blah. Um, God damn it. God damn it. I'm done. Um, this freaking stupid. Why me? Um, why? Why not? man. 
since you're here anyway, why not choose? Can't I just choose to turn the phone off? And go get Sarah? I choose Sarah. I can't. There's no other choice. Oh my god, I just killed Sarah. I just killed Sarah, no! Oh my god, I lost. I just lost the game. I just lost the game. Oh. Oh. Iris is mad. Dude, I just killed Sarah. I. It was one of those freaking until dawn choices where they're backwards. Where you choose which one lives and which one dies, but you choose which one dies. Oh my god! Yeah, Iris is pissed. Iris is so pissed right now. Iris, talk to me. Iris. Just let me get out of the phone or something. Jeez. Iris! Listen. Iris. You. Iris, you. I lost the game. I think I broke the game, too. Um, because nothing is happening right now. Hello? Iris. 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 Why did you pick Sarah? Why not Faith? You shall pay for this. What are you going to do to me, Iris? What are you going to do to me? Um, everybody's offline. screwed up royally I killed Sarah I'm so sorry guys <laughs> I didn't mean to I messed up now I want to play to the end again and um, just do an alternate ending uh, so I am going to play through the game 
I'm going to stop it. Then I'm going to um, give you an alternate ending where I choose Sarah. Uh, no, where I choose Faith. And another alternate ending, I'm going to see if I can just choose nothing and see what happens there. So uh, we'll be back in a second. Okay, so um, I am at the point where I choose the people now. Um, I did make a few different choices, um, but they kind of led back to the same dialogue. You said you don't kill. But yeah, no matter what you said, they say the same thing, pretty much. Um, they do vary the answers somewhat. Um, but yeah, so this is... Uh, I'll say, I love this! Do we have time? in Phoenix wait how do I do the degree sign on the keyboard um degrees north and degrees east map Somewhere in Malaysia, in the middle of fucking nowhere. Wait, let's switch over. Um, so I've got to show you this. Um, browser sites. <laughs> Look at this shit. Um. 
Here it is, right here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, it's right here. Uh, in Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, let's go back to the game. <laughs> All right, just wanted to show you that. Um, but yeah, what do we do? Uh, uh, virus. It's a tough choice, but it had to be done. Sarah means too much to me. It hurts to see Faith go. Sarah knew Faith for the longest time. I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone to die. Life hurts a lot more than death. At least Sarah is okay. We need to find her quick. We choose nothing. <laughs> um, but I'm probably not going to record that uh, right now because the video is already too long. So uh, I'll just have to make a short video next time of the ending. Um, it's probably nothing. It probably just ends the same way, it seems like, because I've already done two endings and they both ended the same way. Um, where basically Iris is Irizu. Um, so yeah, like, favorite, subscribe, uh, definitely helps me out a lot when I can see that people actually maybe appreciate my videos. Um, but yeah, so send me a reaction video if you did capture any of the phone numbers. I'd love to see that. I think that would be kind of funny. Um, I'm too chicken to do it myself, so, um, just thinking maybe somebody else would help me out with that. That'd be great. Um, and I'll definitely, uh, post, uh, you know, links to it, or I'll accept the reaction video as long as it's not vulgar or, you know, you're not like, don't call and, you know, harass someone if it is a real phone number, um, just, you know, I got this phone number from a game. I was trying to see, you know, what it was and I wanted to see if there was anything elaborate behind it. Um, just don't, don't, you know, don't be a dick about it. <laughs> be smart people. Uh, we already have too much going on in the world right now. Um, at least in the U S so, all right. Bye.